So I was a massive roller coaster tycoon fan as a kid. I used to play those games all the time. I probably have a disgusting amount of hours on those games. I haven't played them in a very long time. And this looks like the closest thing to a new version of it, basically. And I'm really excited to jump in. It just came out today and uh, we're going to start up the campaign. We'll probably eventually do a sandbox or something like that as well. But if you want to see me play more of this game, just let me know down in the comments. For now, we're going to jump in, start a campaign and see what this game is all about. I'm really looking forward to it. I oh, mean, are these? It, I just have so much nostalgia for Ro Roller Coaster Tycoon. Like, it was it was so much fun building up your own park and and getting into it and and just really just spending hours trying to perfect your park and the the crazy shit that would happen in those games as well was was just hilarious. So looking forward to seeing what it's all about here in the in Park Beyond. And as I said, drop a like. Let me know in the comments if you want to see more. Best way to let me know. For now, we're gonna do like a one part video and see how it goes. I haven't actually been to a, to a theme park in a very long time either. Kind of too old for it, you know? And I also get scared of stuff like that. Terrified. I have played a little bit of like um, Jurassic Evolution, Jurassic World Evolution, which is like a, a dinosaur version of it. And I've played a little bit of Zoo Tycoon um, in the last few years, but haven't really got too far into them either. I played like maybe seven, eight hours of Jurassic World Evolution. I enjoyed it, but just never fully got like deep into it. And I'd love to do that here. All right. 10.32? Come on, I woke up at six this morning. You know? Oh my. Oh, okay. <laughs> That's one way to get rid of it, I guess. It's hilarious. Oh, uh, I was gonna say. <laughs> I just ran into the wall. Alright, so we're trying to design some theme park, I'm assuming. Not clearly finished yet. Paper airplane? Where's it going? Oh my. That person's dead. Oh no, she's still alive. Good. Hey, you hit me. Would have been even cooler if it had exploded into confetti, but still, great shot. Before we start, let's first check the camera. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, there we go. Out the window. We're starting it out our window here. Tracks are colliding with other structures. Okay. We'll start it just coming straight out, I guess. Oh, we're just supposed to build it to the to the soccer pitch, is it? We're going through here. This seems wrong. We're ruining their little soccer pitch. How do I go up a little bit? Oh, well, there goes that. <laughs> All right, let's go backwards. How do I delete? Delete previous. There we go. I want to go over the over the pitch a little bit. We want to be respectful of the people playing uh, playing basketball and playing playing footy. All right, we can't be uh, can't be having that. Yeah, that's better. All right, now we're cooking. All right. Park Beyond has many tools to help you build your dream roller coaster. One of the first steps is to learn how to create a curved track. All right. Do this with R1 and the L stick. You also have an option to straighten the track by pressing square. This might come in handy once you start building more complex roller coasters. Okay. We want to R1 and we did it. Woohoo! Nicely done, friend. I suppose introductions are in order. I'm Blaze. Blaze Ultra. I know, I know, it sounds weird. <laughs> Ultra wasn't my birth name. No, that's Megatronic. Megatronic. Oh. I don't need to make stuff up. 
My life is crazy enough as it is. I was born in a light I'm airport, calling bullshit. somewhere between Cincinnati and Bowling Green. Turns out the state of Kentucky doesn't have any naming laws, so you can write in what you like. And mom and dad, bless them, put every idea they had into a hat. They almost pulled the tag out and named me size 15 for massive heads. I do a lot of wild and crazy stuff, but I've never seen anything quite as out there as your roller coaster designs. And I like it. You know, the more I think about it, the more I think our meeting can't be a coincidence. I mean, coincidences happen all the time. But it's no fun if you don't pretend they mean something. Tell you what, you've just been deputized. Phil Bailey wanted me to test these roller coaster modules Cloudstorm are developing, but he didn't tell me how he wanted me to do it. You've heard of Cloudstormer, right? Great company. Not doing so great lately. That someone with your vision would have awesome ideas about how to use the stuff Phil has thought up. Am I right? You're right. Don't look Let's at do me it. Like you've got a choice. You know this is happening. I don't have a Let's choice. Let's see what you can do with some serious roller coaster kit. Okay, sure. Let's go. Let's do it. Let's build a ruddy, bloody roaster. Roaster? Roller coaster? <laughs> can you guys shut up? I'm trying to do something here. All right. Now that we've covered curve tracks, let's learn how to change the height of your roller coaster. It's not a proper roller coaster if it doesn't go up and down. Yes, I'm pretty sure I already know how to do that. Oh, I don't. I was pressing the wrong button then if I was. Pulled upwards with chain lift tracks. All right, we got to get tra train uh, chain lifts to bring it up here. Also, you build your roller coaster. The test train runs as a preview on the track. Yes. Okay. You can control the speed of the test train via the test train panel on the right. All right. We're going to go with those two there to get us all the way up here. And then we can flatten it out with a normal one. We want the normal track again. All right. We're going to go here. And then we're going up, is it? Where does it go? Holy shit. Yep. We're going straight up. So we're going to have a little bit of a drop. Let's see what our train's doing back here. Oh, shit. It doesn't have quite the pace to go. Okay, we need to change this one. All right. We'll get it to here. I think we've got we've done a good job for now. Took a lot longer than it probably should have here. Let's see if this is this is going to work. We use the chain lift right there. And then we get a bit of momentum going down. Just a touch. And then back up. All the way. And then we have a, a little bit of a scary drop, but nothing too extreme because we're about to get to the extreme drop now. All right, picks up a little bit of momentum, gets to about 70 kilometers an hour nearly, and then we want to go all the way up. So what we're going to use here, of course, is the chain lift. We want to get all the way up, if we can, a little bit further. All right, it's got to the top. Well done. Now build the track down to ground level and reach the helipad area. Okay, there we go. We've got it up here now. We want to bring it down. Straight drop? Should we do a straight drop? I think we'll do it pretty much as close as you can go to a, a straight drop and then reach the helipad. Once you get there, I'm going to get a little bit more height out of it, out of this there. And there we go. We've reached the helipad pretty much. Ow. Oh, okay. Nicely done. We did it. Woohoo. Our first roller coaster. I have some modules pretty that shit. look like abandoned prototypes for some kind of stunt show. I mean, it's just a circus cannon and a motorcycle ramp. Not sure you can use these. Can you say let's add it to the roller coaster? Sure. Idea. Who doesn't want to be fired out of a cannon? Am I right? Not me. Although there's never enough gunpowder for my taste. I really want to feel my hair getting singed. Okay, this lady's kind of a psychopath, but sure, we'll go with that. Besides the usual track placement, you can also use various modules to create the craziest roller coasters out there. Shoot your coaster across the gap using the cannon module, which is now unlocked. Well, that's going to be mental. <laughs> <laughs> this is gonna be fun. All right, so how do I get the module? Left hand side. Place modules, cannon. How far do we want to launch it? Is the question. Can I just? Do I want to land in the other helipod area? Is that what we want to do? Launch speed. I guess to here, and then continue on from there. Yeah, I guess. Okay. Just a little bit down potentially. There you go. Right, and then to here. I suppose just to here, and then to do high curvature, really? 
Let's go with that then. To where we need to get to. And then where? I need to see that. I need to see that in action. Reset the test train, ride the camera. Yeah, I want to use, I used to always do this, like ride the, ride the actual roller coaster. This is sick. All right. This would be crazy in VR, actually, this, uh, this game. I wish they would do a VR version, that would be dope. At least for riding it. <laughs> we'll see. Okay, up we go. Art Cafe on our left. A little bit, a little bit of curvature all over this roller coaster, it seems like. Maybe a little bit too much. But right, there you go. Cupcakes for the creatives. Office space available for rent. Okay, and now we start to pick up a little bit of pace here. Nothing crazy. Just give you a little taste of what's to come. You know, it starts to get get a little bit faster, and you pick up a little pace going up this uh, going up this thing. I'm scared, Potter. Is there anyone with me? I'm alone on this roller coaster. Oh Jesus! This is a sad life to live. All right, I can't wait to see it going through the cannon. It's a nice view, though. Nice view, and down we go. Shit! Oh, that is steep. Straight into a bloody cannon, right across. That is mental. All right, and then we're dead. Oh, crashed right into the building. Okay, cool, cool, cool. <laughs> that was fun though. All right, does it, does it tell me where to go from here? I think we need. We might need a little bit of chain link now to go through. Chain left to go through the rest of this. Oh, that's perfect. Look at that. Straight through the donut. Do I want to go one higher? Yeah, maybe one higher. And up to here. And then when we get up to this building, I think I want to continue to go a little higher. Like through the building. All right, well, I want to make sure we're not clipping anyone's heads off if they're tall or anything, though. So we'll just go to 23 meters. All right. And then... Just keep the... Let's keep going up a little bit more. Because I want to take a... All right, flatten it out, flatten it out. You can't do it at the same time. Flatten it out. And then I want to go over here like this. And we're going to try a little, uh, we want the normal track now. I'm going to try a little dive through this thing here. <laughs> this is going to be fun, but I want to go through the, through the construction. Yeah, see, I don't want all that. So I think it's like too much curvature. Well, what if I just build it like this though? Yeah, straight down and then straight through. Yes. Yes, perfect. Oh, it needs to be higher though, huh? Okay. We're gonna kill someone here. That's for sure. But that's okay. Uh, I don't like that though. How do I re- How do I get rid of the last one that I did? Perfect. Perfect. Now we're cooking. Now down through these two buildings here. You can kind of just have fun with it now, honestly. We can just do what we like, I think, which is cool. I like that a lot. Kind of down over here. And now where do we want to go from here is the question. Is there anywhere I'm seeing that I want to go? Kind of make our way over to the over to the right hand side here. We want to we want a steep drop right after that. All right, I'm going to try to get a crazy curvature here now. We're going to go straight up. Like straight up. Way up into the sky. And then back down around in a kind of a curved way. Come through like this. Okay, so now I want normal track. Yeah, this is what I want. Something like this. Big curve around. Not fully all the way down, because I want to be in line with this thing here. Yes. Okay, now let's go down a little bit so I can see. Yeehaw! Y'all. I thought that said yeehaw for some reason. <laughs> Alright, straight down, and then through that, and then straight down to the finish line. Hey, what? Backs are colliding with other structures. Ah, okay, this thing here. I didn't even see that. Well, screw that little stupid thing then. You know what I'm saying? All right, I think we made it. Make the test train reach the top of this building. If it can't make it, check your track and see if you need a chain lift somewhere. Yeah, I think we've done it. Okay, now I want to have a look at this goddamn train. I want to have a look at this this thing in full. All right, let's reset it and let's ride on. Here we go, boys. Here we go. All right, let's see this thing in full. Can we fast forward at the start? Like the bit we've already seen? Doesn't seem like it. 
The paper plane is not moving to the next target location because the test train needs to reach this paper plane first. Check why the test train can't reach it or reset the test train to start again. Wait, what? Why is it not reaching it? Add chain lifts so the test train can reach the top of the building. I did that already. It's at the top of the building. I'm pretty sure of that. But I'll double check. But I'm pretty sure that, yeah, this is reaching. And it gave me the tick and everything. But I think those are just hints. But we'll see here. It's a long ass roller coaster. I gotta be honest with you. <laughs> It's a long ass one, but it's gonna be fun, no doubt. Here, here's where it starts to get crazy now. This is where it starts to get crazy. Rocket sends us over, cannon I should say. Land it there, go up and around. I don't know why it went red for a split second there. That was kind of strange. Bro, I know, shut up. All right, here we go. Got a little bit of a downward momentum. I know, fuck off, dude, those hints are annoying. I pressed skip already, bro. Oh, that's where it's ending. Uh-huh, okay. Can we even get it through there is the question? Is the roller coaster actually too big to get through that? Maybe we should just go over it. All right, we're gonna see if this works now. It should, I can't see why it wouldn't work now. Yep, through the mid, no, what? Why? All right, we're gonna go through here and place that, and then we're gonna start to go up. There we go. Okay, now I have to get to dare. Now tell me if that's gonna work, please. Is that gonna goddamn work now? All right, here we go. Come on. Up. We're fine. I don't know why it goes like slightly red sometimes. What does that mean? Does that mean it's on the edge, but it's fine? Kind of way? I think. All right, this is this would be terrifying right now. This part would be horrifying, to be honest. I think we're gonna be fine now for the rest. I think we got it. I could be wrong, but I think we're good. Okay. We're through, we're through, we're through. Keep going, keep going. I haven't got anything to indicate me that it's that it's okay yet though, so we'll see. Ooh. Okay, yeah, we made it. All right, we did it. Just one more step to reach the park on the other side of the lake. It looks like Blaze is waiting for you down at the paper plane. All right, we got to reach the... We got to reach something on the other side of the lake. Oh, way over there. Okay. Where are we going? Sorry. Let's first off just get a little bit of a drop going down here. I want to go up and over this mountain over to the right then. Oh, there she is. There we go. Nailed it. What's up, Blazy? Blaziken. You're doing great, but maybe it's time to see if we can fly your dreams even further than any sane person would want to go. Okay. Whoa, water feature. Since you're well on your way to becoming the next theme park visionary, tell me this. How are you going to overcome the obstacles you're going to face? Uh, tunnel through the obstacles that stand in the way. Shoot the cars over any obstacles in the way. There's all way around. There's always a way around, right over every obstacle, like a wave on the ocean. This off-rail module. You're on your own. And find a route that suits you. Use the cannon module to shoot across the obstacle. If you don't own the module, it'll be unlocked. This choice will unlock. Yeah, I want to do the tunneling well, one. We already I mean, have the cannon have a one. Historical so. question. Not that I ever got the hang of those. I mean, if someone asks you something, you're supposed to answer them, right? I guess so. Right, but sure. Let's see if we can't make your vision a reality. Let's go, baby. All right, we're gonna tunnel through. Uh, do you want to create crazy, crazy roller coasters that dive right through the landscape? We have you covered with the tunneling feature. I mean, who doesn't want to do that, really? Let's be, let's be completely honest with you. To tunnel through the mountain, place one node in front of the mountain and one behind it. Alternatively, you can lower the track even further and go below the whole rock formation. Okay. I want to go up really high and then go down quickly through the tunnel. You know what I'm saying? Wait, do I not need to? I think it does it automatically for me, is it? Is that what's happening right now? Okay, I've, I've bugged the game out. All right, we're through. We're through. That's okay. All right, let's go. All right, we made it. We freaking made it, boys. All right, check why the test train can't reach it or reset the test train to start again. All right, we're going to have to see. I don't know why it wouldn't be reaching. Maybe there's a certain part. Maybe through the tunnel there it's not quite getting through. Uh, 
We'll have to see. That's why I gave it a lot of height going through that tunnel, though. So I was hoping it would have enough momentum to go through. Is there any way I can fast forward this? Like, no way I can actually genuinely fast forward this, which is kind of stupid if not. I think it might just not have enough space or not enough pace going through this section up here. That's what I'm thinking anyway. Like, not enough pace to get there. No, everything seems good. It's I mean, that, it, it, it did work. Yourself in and see if this talking thing about? shakes any fillings loose. This is amazing. You've gone from building an awesome fire exit to turning your whole apartment complex into a theme park ride. Pretty badass. I should really call Phil so he can come see. No need. I can sniff out a roller coaster from 20 kilometers. Hope you don't mind me hitching a ride. Great gravy boats. How on earth did you get a license to build this thing? I didn't. We didn't. Wonderful. It's so much easier to seek forgiveness than permission. <laughs> Let's go! All right, Phil, calm down. Love to see it. I mean, I've already seen the roller coaster, though. What do you mean? I, oh my, the I don't need to see it. These new coaster modules you've come up with. I'd have never thought to make them. Ah, I'm getting an idea, you know. I've actually been thinking you and your about ideas, taking on a Phil. protege for a while. Originally, I was going to run a competition, but Izzy wouldn't let me. We could, we could do it. Try sure. Hand at the big time. Why not? I can't promise. That can't wait to start building my own theme park, boys. We're gonna do like the sandbox mode and stuff like that. It's gonna get lit. But I can promise you'll learn a lot. <laughs> Some of it might even be useful. So, what do you say? I say I. I'll take your silence as a yes. <laughs> Come on. I'm double parked. Ooh, I'm coming too. I know you only hired me for the day, but I want to see where this goes. <laughs> All right. Maximum rating reached. Continue campaign. Let's go, baby. My own big location here. In the middle of feck nowhere. Oh. The wolf. I got my wolf here beside ah, me too. Here we are. Now, I know this forest might look spooky from a distance, but once you're in the thick of it, it's merely pantaloon fillingly terrifying. Oh, that's good. Great yes. News. As choice of locales for a fun packed family theme park go, this wasn't exactly your finest hour, was it, Phil? Oh, hello. You're the new hire, hmm? I'm Isabel Dillard, Cloudstormer CEO. Oh. <laughs> Although sometimes I feel like I actually run a crash. Oh, sorry. Where are my manners? And I don't know why you're picking on this park, Izzy. I've made far worse mistakes. What's up with this blurry Away. face? We'll visit those in due course. The lighting's all anyway, off. It's like flickering. Ominously creepy trees aside, this is a fair bit bigger than the test site and your fire exit coaster, hmm? Mm -hmm. Well, the stakes certainly are. Always pinching those pennies, eh, Izzy? I can't wait to see what our friend here paints with a canvas as large as this. Me too. And it's going to be awesome. Worry. We're not quite throwing you in at the deep end. Oh, no, come on, throw I'll me be in. Right here by Whoa. your side to answer any questions you have. And Whoa. I'll be by your other side making a note of how much you spend. She does that whenever we have a business lunch, too. <laughs> Heaven forfend you have the temerity to order something sweet to finish. Yes, well, if our friend here messes up at this park, they won't have to worry about not getting their just desserts. Oh, lovely. Make mine a cheesecake. All right, shut up. This park has definitely seen better days, at least in its current state. There are a lot of areas we need to address before we can start thinking about attracting any visitors. All right. They need to be accessible from the park. All right, yeah, all good. We'll connect some paths. Don't you worry, sunshine. We got this. I'm the master of paths. All right, path placement. Should we stick with the same paths we have? Asphalt. I kind of would like to do something a little different, but I guess we should stick to the one we already have, right? All right, first off, let's go over here. Well, let's get let's just 
link these two together first. We can branch that one off. That's not the same color, though, is it? Oh, that is the same one. Black pebble. That's not black. Freaking liar of a thing. That's what confused me so much. I don't, I don't like how it looks already, so I need to bring it. I need to zoom out so I can actually see properly. Didn't even mean to do that. Shit. Keep demolishing too much. All right, there we go. Nicely done. We've linked that up at least. But now we need to link this one off from here, probably. Yes. All right, saucy. Get this back in over here. There we go. The flat ride crash lander near the park entrance is still closed and needs to be open before visitors can enter it. Okay. Sure. Ride status rises uh, can be set to three different levels. Closed. Status showcase. And then status open. Of course, of course. How do I just select something normally? There we go. Crash lander. Okay. Open it up. Now that visitors can access the old shops and rides again, we might as well add new ones. Okay. Sounds good. Opening a flat ride. These are the steps to open a flat ride. Yada, yada, yada. All right, shops and facilities, park beyond candy apple shop. That sounds pretty cool. Where should we put the candy apple shop? Near the toilets, I think, makes the most sense, right? Because you're going to get a candy apple, and then you're going to go for a bite to eat. Or go for a shite after. Or a piss, you know? That's, uh, that's the way of the road. And now we need to build a new flat ride, so let's go ahead and do that. No, I keep pressing demolish for some reason. Stop pressing demolish, bro. All right, flat rides. Which one should we go for? Crazy Kraken. That sounds fun. What is that one? Can I get a, get a view on what they actually are? Pirate ship or a shining pendulum? Let's go with the crazy kraken. I think that sounds like a lot of fun. Okay. Oh, it's that one. Okay. I, I know these ones. All right. How do we zoom in? Uh, how do we... Um... Okay, this should work. We'll put it here in the corner. I think it looks good there. Let's see. Um, get rid of some th trees, but that's fine. We can chop down a few trees. I'm not that in tune with nature. All right. Where's the cue path? Where do we want to go in? Well, we need a bit of a queue, so we're going to go, like, up around here kind of way, right? We'll start it here. It's too close to the other queue, probably, is it? All right, there we go. The park is now ready for visitors again. Unpause the game so visitors can enter the park. For reals? Unpause the game. How do I unpause the game is the question. Uh, square. Okay, let's go play. Whether you're impatient or just want to fade out the noise around you, you can pause or just fast forward the game at any time. Let the visitor, let the first 40 visitors enter the park. Oh shit, okay. Gotta wait for 40 people to come in. Is there anyone around here? I don't think there's anyone here yet, bro. <laughs> no one's ready to come in yet. Oh, here come some people. Where are they coming from? Under this bridge or something? Okay. All right, we got some people coming to the park. We're minus... $32 right now. We're losing money. Is that what it is? That's okay. Once people start paying, once they start coming in, then we can up the price of everything, alright? It's the way they're all. We can start charging for people going to the bathroom and everything. That's how they do things here in Ireland, so, you know, that's uh, that's the way I know. Alright, peeps. How you doing, kids? How do you do, fellow kids? Oh, yeah, okay. Now people are starting to come. That's what we're cooking. The first four are in. So we can fast forward if we want now and just wait for people to come in. You know, like you just fast forward maximum. Wait for 40 people to come in and see what rides they're going to go on. We need to open this one up at some point as well, probably. But I think that's outside our play area for now. We just got to wait for people to come in before we can do anything else. We're just following the campaign for now. We'll be able to do our own stuff soon enough, no doubt. All right, people are heading straight to the bathroom. Oh, no. I don't know what the hell they're doing, to be honest. People are getting candy apples. And 40 people are in. Let's take a moment to check out who is entering our park. Okay, how do we check who is entering our park? Select a group of ad adults. Hello, f folks. Their happiness is 63%. Okay, what about you guys? Select a family. Where's a the family? There's a family. Hey, guys. Select a group of teens. Are you a group of teens? Yeah, I, I think that was it. Okay, let's go. Creating a big park here, boys. A big old gorgeous park. What do you? What are you? We've seen the park and its rather special forest locale. 
so you appreciate the challenge facing you. I want you to pitch a plan for turning this investment into profitability. Izzy's right, of course, but I didn't hire you to worry about the numbers. You're a visioneer That's like me. me. And that rolls all I'm about a sharing your wild and wonderful ideas. Ideas, yes, but let's not be too wild. You don't hitch a stagecoach to wild stallions, after all. Oh, but what a ride you get when you do, Izzy! <laughs> it may bump your This rope, guy's hilarious. But you don't forget that experience in a hurry. Well, lawsuits and health and safety issues notwithstanding, Cloudstormer's fiscal situation is perilously close to catastrophic collapse. Sounds exciting. <laughs> but I think what Izzy is trying to say is... Who do you think we should be luring through the turnstiles at the new park? Okay. Uh, this is a great location to make a park geared for teenagers. The perfect family experience. I think teenagers, because, you know, we kind of have this creepy vibe going on. I feel like te teenagers love that kind of stuff. But let's go with uh, teens, for example, like to drink sugary rides and ride thrill rides. Adults, for example, like to drink coffee and eat fine food. Yeah, we're That's going for teenagers. Come on. Teenagers. Good choice. Let's go. For that, Get I'm those teens in here. Will. Well, you might scare the shit out of them. Some money in there too. We might need it if our visioneer wants to build more than just a lemonade stand and a toilet. I trust the engineering team will be able to provide some new rides, Phil. Absolutely. Just not at this park. Sophia is stuck over at one of our East Coast sites. Oh, she might be able to fly us one of those newfangled ornithopters with some ornithopters? goodies in it, We call that a drone these days, Phil. <laughs> what do you propose for our theme? There are no western theme parks anywhere near here. Ironic hipsters of all ages would flip for a Candyville theme. Science fiction is a good crowd pleaser these days. Uh, alien planet theme. Okay, Candyville theme. Authentic western theme. Let's go for the alien planet theme, I think, right? I don't know, the Western Park one kind of sounds, Western theme park kind of sounds interesting though. Let's go with the well, Alien Planet one. competitors are also marketing science fiction rides and that makes it a crowded market. That's what I was thinking. Yes, but ours will have twice the science and three times the fiction. And four <laughs> times the manufacturing costs, no doubt. Are you happy with this plan of attack or do you want to renegotiate terms? Um. Have 170 teenage visitors in your park. Have at least two profitable flat rides. Have a positive monthly income. Okay. Let's do it. Let's go. Very well. We'll take the necessary Come steps on. to get this going. I hope you appreciate that the fate of the company rests on the success of this project. Well, strap me to a rocket and light my fuse with a sparkler. This is exciting. Your first crack at a real theme park. <laughs> oh, I remember my first time. It was in Bangkok after the war. Uh, or was it Singapore? Uh, the no, sky man. no, wait. <laughs> It was Cleveland. Oh. It was upstate New York, Phil. Your father's cabinet of curiosities, remember? Oh, I thought it was the Thrillinator. <laughs> uh, well, uh, whatever it was, I remember it like it was yesterday. <laughs> Which was... Um, Tuesday. Monday, Phil. Meeting adjourned. Thank Thursday. you for your time, I everyone. Bet. Extend the park for teens. Okay, sounds good. Let's do this thing. All visitor groups have needs that must be satisfied to make them happy. Having access to food and drinks is your visitor's most important need. These are fulfilled by building corresponding shops. At some point, your visitors will also need to visit a toilet to relieve themselves. Walking around is exhausting. You should build benches to let ve uh, visitors replenish their energy as well. Okay, sounds good. Let's build a few benches. Place five benches along the paths. Um, let's do that right now. Place a few... Wait, how do I build benches? Shops... I I'm guessing facilities here. Is there benches here as well? Ah, uh, here we go. Some benches. Alien flat planet planet bench. They all cost 50, so. Might as well go with a little alien planet one. The bench there. Bench near the toilet so people... I will go with a bench near the toilet so people can wait for their significant other here, you know? People can wait for their significant other by the... By the toilets there. Because I'm a nice guy. And if someone doesn't want to go on this crazy ass ride, they can sit here and wait for their family and watch the watch the chaos ensue. Same here, if they want to watch people on the Kraken, they 
You can watch people on the Kraken. Okay, sounds good. Open the heat map and filter for toilet needed. Yeah, we already have a toilet, but we're going to make another one, I'm assuming. Sounds good, sounds good. Oh, teens have heard of the new ride and will arrive soon at the park. Hell yeah, baby. Let's go. All right, let's have a look at the heat map. Happiness. Everyone's green. Everyone's happy. And let's have a look at the toilet. Okay, so we need another toilet in here somewhere. All right, let's build an additional toilet then. No problem. Alien planet basic toilet. Holy shit, this is a massive toilet. Okay, I was not expecting it to be this large. All right, where can we place this? We want to place it somewhere far away from the other toilet, right? What's this over here even? All right, I guess when they come in right away, there should be toilets, right? That would be handy. All right, people, uh, people will want toilets right away. Filter for teens in the flat rides menu, okay. All right, flat rides, flat rides appealing to adults, flat rides appealing to families, flat, okay, flat rides appealing to teens. We got the crazy crack and we already got it there. The ring of fire, we got the gyro spin, and we got the shining pendulum. Let's try the ring of fire. I mean, that sounds fucking awesome, right? <laughs> Now, the only problem is this is going to be pretty big. All right, we'll place it over here near the entrance. All right, there we go. We extended the park for teens. We got this new ride open. That queue is a little bit busted, but what can you do, honestly? I should probably have a little bit of a few railings and stuff on the on this. Over here, I think we have railings, do we? No. All right, that's a that's a hazard then. That's a hazard. We need some, <laughs> we need some railings. Kids are going to fall off that shit there. That's a, that's a safety hazard right there. All right, park's starting to take uh, take shape now. Build and open a drink shop relished or loved by teens. Build and open a food shop relished or loved by teens as well. Okay, let's do that. Um, shops and facilities. Park behind Kaj. Okay, we need to know which ones are loved by teens. Okay. Ow, Indy. Jesus. All right, kids love the love the kebab shop. What's this shop over here, by the way? Uh, oh, that's like a steakhouse. Okay. All right, we'll have this right across the way from the toilets. So we'll, it's like, you know, a kebab can make you want to go to the toilet. You know? So we'll place that right there. And then we need another dr a drink shop as well. Um, So let's have a look. This one loves by teens. Park Beyond Energy Drink Shop. Yes, okay. We'll go energy drink one, I think. Yes. We got the alien theme going on. Might as well keep it going. Let's go with the drink shop uh, across the way from the, the steakhouse here. Milestone 2. Increase the park level. You've completed your first milestone. As a reward, you receive new shops. The amount of visitors that can enter your park is limited by your current park level. Add how to how to level. Okay, so basically we just got to fix the park cleanliness. Okay. For now, it makes sense to get an overview of the overall situation. How the hell is there this much trash here already? What the hell? Oh, and this part has been opened up now. Okay. Shit, yeah, let's go. I like the cleanliness icon to see how cleanliness is calculated. Okay. My, oh my. You're I am settling, settling in nicely, aren't I? Nicely, aren't you? I'm getting addicted now, boys. Your feet up on the furniture, haven't you? Yes, shut up. Just make sure not to do... I'm trying to, I'm trying to figure this out, okay? Bitch, screw you. Sorry. <laughs> that was out of order. All right, how do I check the bloody cleanliness? Oh, cleanliness rating. Here we go. I see. Entrance to the park is free. Fix the park cleanliness. Visitors will drop litter if they cannot find a nearby trash can. Right entrances in areas with a high shop density are often most impacted. Make sure to distribute uh, distribute them evenly on new paths. Okay. Sounds good. And we'll do one over here as well. All right, there we go. Still a lot of trash. We can hire some janitors or empty trash can to empty trash cans and clean toilets. Okay. Gotta hire someone. Staff hiring, baby. Gene Cunningham, you're hired. I didn't even mean to do that shit. I think I just hired someone. Oh, okay, I just got... I see what I'm doing now. Okay. Increase the park's fun rating. Continue playing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, let's increase the park's fun rating. Build and open a flat ride that has a fun rating of at least four. Okay. We still got a lot of, uh, a lot of room out here that we can now build out into, I think. We want to connect this path here as well if we can. We'll connect all that. But I think that's where we're going to end the video, guys. This has been a good first video. I think a good taster of what's to come. We can start to build our own roller coaster, build more flat rides and stuff like that in the next video if you want to see more. I thought this is a good taster of the game, though. Definitely getting those roller coaster tycoon vibes right off the rip. And I'm excited to, to jump into more. This is definitely going to be a game I play whether or not I play it for YouTube. I'm kind of addicted to it already. But thanks for watching. Really appreciate it. Make sure to drop a like. It's the best way to let me know you enjoy the content. And I'll see you for more in the very near future. It's been my pleasure to serve. Thank you all. Peace out, folks.